Alright, ball, why you grinding so hard? Hey, cause we about to hit that 40,000 mark. Hey, yes, all right, fam. We closing in on 40,000 subs. All right, fam. Wow, man. All right, fam. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. Like I said, I'm only three months in. I've only been taking YouTube series for three months. I've been doing this my whole life, though, you know, discussing entertainment news with my family and my friends. But I decided to put on this platform. You guys accept me for me. Using my country slang and all, bro. I talk to y'all how I talk to my everyday friends, bro. I don't get on here and try to speak proper because that is not me, bro. I can do that, but I'll be faking it. I'm not trying to get in the industry by faking it. I'm doing me 100%. The industry got to accept me for me. They got to accept the art fam for the art fam. We're going to be ourselves. That's what the art about all about. Everybody coming together, being ourselves, bro. That's what it's all about, man. But don't forget the so, art fam. Oh, yeah. What's popping, art fam? Art ball checking in here. And today, we have a lot to discuss. Now, let's jump right into it. First off, one time for notification game. Hitting that like button before the video even start. Y'all the real art fan. Salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy Kodak Black. Back in the news again, bro. Yes, Kodak is back in the news again, fam. Kodak Black set Twitter on fire tonight, art fam. Telling y'all, bro. Kodak took the Twitter and said, Lil Wayne ain't the best fucking rapper alive. I am. And Twitter went up in the uproar. You got folks down in the comments. I hate y'all double XL freshman list niggas from this year. All of y'all trash. All of y'all mama rappers. And you the most trash of them all. Folks talking about this hell. All kind of stuff, bro. So folks are like, man, maybe Kodak is hacked. He ain't really mean that. Kodak screenshotted it and put it on IG as well. Uh, found to show y'all that, hey, I meant what I said. I believe that I'm the best rapper out here right now. I'm spitting the best bars out here. They went to the uproar again. Folks went crazy again, bro. Now, this is how I look at it. Hip-hop is just as competitive as any sport. Everybody want to say they're the best. You're supposed to think you're the best. If you don't, what you playing for? You playing for second place? That's how you're supposed to look at it. But, but, you don't put it out there to the public until you have, like, the accolades to back it up to back up your statement but once you sell albums get some awards get all the number ones then you'd be like hey i am the best because i got all this to back up what i say uh fam i could be wrong let me know down in the comments is it okay for athlete artists to say that they the best before winning a ring winning awards selling albums before all of that let me know down in the comments kodak keep grinding continue to have that confidence but also be humble at the same time to know that hey i can't say this right now i got to continue to put in that work and get more accolades under my belt. Salute to y'all. All right, fam. Let me know down in the comments what you think, man. Up next, we got that boy Two Chains. Now, Two Chains, I rock with his music. I'm a fan of his music as well. But I'm more of a fan of Two Chains, the entrepreneur, the dab Santa sweaters, the dab Santa flip flops, the CEO millionaires, the restaurants. The list goes on on what this guy got his hand in. Now, this is what I also like. Two Chains set a great example for upcoming artists to follow now soon as artists get money they go copying all kind of stuff that don't mean nothing and then two years from now when they're not hiding no more all their money gone then they look like dang what i spent all my money on now two chains set a great example to show artists like hey you can invest your money in this while you got your popularity going also invest it in this so when you're not hiding anymore no this thing here will still make money for you because hey man, anything can go wrong. You only have for so long, bro. I'm telling you, two chains is also a great father. Check this out. Hey, hey, what's happening, man? Me and my son just caught his first Hawks game floor seats yeah we did it bro you know I don't even normally talk to y'all like this but I just had to say this is what I do it for that's right man man this is what I do it for all that capping and flexing y'all nigga doing ain't talking my shit you dig what I'm saying this is what I do it for yeah they ain't talking my shit but I just want to tell y'all that, that I'm, I'm very, like, I know I'm blessed. I'm very happy to be where I am in life. I own a few buildings, a few properties. I'm having a little cash. I just ain't showed y'all on my Instagram. 
But this is what I do it for. We caught our first game together. Don't oh. don't hit him with that, bro. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Just there you go. And it's a blessing. Y'all have a blessed night. Talk to you later, man. Signing out. Much respect to Two Chains. Continue to be a great example for artists. Also, I'm gonna leave y'all with a video of Ken Yella saying that hey, just because I dissed Young and May about her being disrespectful with Tuka name, I'm not dissing the whole NY or anywhere else. I'm talking specifically to her. Now, all I found, I'm about to be out of here. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. I'm coming from the bottom, bro. I'm not ashamed to admit that, man. I'm coming straight from the bottom. For real, the projects, bro. They don't mean no, some type of hood nigga going out here shooting everybody. Like I said, I'm coming from the project. That just real, fam. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm on a three-month scene. I continue to get better and continue to be me for you guys, bro. Thank you, guys. Anyway, I'm out of here. Follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Follow me on IG at Relatable Ball. Uh, ball. Go. Hey, look, I fuck with whoever fuck with me, man. That's because I said motherfuckers copying us. That don't mean everybody copying us. You feel me? But every is a motherfucker from every city doing this shit. So don't get it fucked up, man. Salute to the motherfuckers that's rocking with me, nigga. Just because I said something about Young and May don't mean I'm talking to the whole New York, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Shout out Cardi B. Shout out Paparazzi Poe. Free Tommy G's. The real YG's. You know the fuck we bumming. That way. Fuck you talking about, man. Shout out New York. Shout out Harlem. All that, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Shout out the A. Shout out motherfucking wherever. California. Whoever rocking with us, man. Fuck you talking about. Motherfuckers know we trendsetters, though. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I ain't dodging shit. We not dodging shit from no motherfucker. We not taking shit from nobody. Period. Fuck you talking about. Y'all goofies can stop sliding on my DMs, all that, boy. I don't, can't nobody tell me shit. Don't call nobody and think they can stop anything. Can't nobody stop shit unless I want to stop it. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga. Skeezy get.